Hello, Senior Stoner fans. This is the real Senior Stoner back at you for your Puffco Peak Dab of the Day. Hello, everybody. Today is Saturday. We've made it to the weekend. And hopefully the weather's good where you are and you can enjoy your day. Today's topic, I had it all thought out and planned. I'm thinking about it, laying it out in my mind, how I want to talk about it. And then I had an epiphany. An epiphany. That in order to help everyone more, I was looking at it backwards. And I want to talk about it. We've spoken about how our bodies and minds react with our senses. To, I don't know, sense, smells, um, sounds and things. How we react to those nice things, those nice memories, the things that bring us pleasure. And so I was going to do more about that today. But it struck me. Eh, mistake, Senior Stoner. We've got to talk about those things that have been ingrained into our brain that bring us horrible responses. If somebody was to take off a belt, the strap of a belt, fold it over, and go, I'll flinch. Because that's the noise I heard when my father pulled the strap out of his, the belt out of his belt loops, turned it in half before he whipped me as a young man, young boy. So I have that ingrained in my brain. That is my Tyrannosaurus Rex sound. Also, people yelling at me at work, even though I was an A-level worker, C-suite executive, I had a boss. And every one of my bosses, all my years as a worker, as an executive even, were assholes. And what they did and what they wanted to do was demean me. And the way they talked to me was like this, talking down to me. And that really changed the way I was able to perform. It made it so I really couldn't, didn't want to, almost wanted to do bad things. So what are our reflexes to those things that are negative? What are our reflex reactions to things that have caused us to have PTSD? What if we have post-traumatic stress syndrome? Okay? And many of us probably do. And if you don't think that chronic pain can give it to you, you got another thing coming. That's a big reason for it. Chronic, intractable pain that you can't get rid of. That's your demon when you're like us. So these horrible thoughts we get can come up from random things happening that other people would say means nothing. What about if you hurt yourself doing a particular thing and you happen to be close to doing that thing again? Your fear of that action could be tremendous, could be great, could freeze you. What about if you had, if you're a spouse abuse? What if you've been abused as a child? All these different things that you hear, the tones that you hear from other people, you can relate to that and possibly even say it's happening again in your mind. It might not be happening. It can be misinterpretation, but these are called triggers. So it's not just about telling us we have these things. It's about saying how we can help ourselves with these things. Every time you have a negative trigger, you want to look for a positive trigger to offset it. Every time I think of the strap with my father... I try to think of a singing song. Every time I think of something with a boss yelling at me, I think of Mrs. Stoner who loves me. So you try to juxtapose what you know, the good things, the positive things, against these horrible negative things that are an onslaught, frankly. And they don't stop. So you've got to be very careful. We can't only think about the positives and happy. We have to look at the negatives that drive the pain, that drive the bad things in our life, and learn how to handle those as well. So if you are a person like me, I'm 62, that has horrible things in their past, it carries forth for many, many years, and it changes who you are and how you respond to many different things. The way you deal with it, the best way I have found, is you must acknowledge that you have it. You must acknowledge that these things happen, that these are the way you feel. And then, only then, once you put it out in front of you, can you truly deal with it. And it's like that as we've spoken many times about a lot of different things. But with traumatic stress, 
that happens to you, if you hide it, if you tamp it down and don't acknowledge it, it's going to come up and bite you hard. You've got to put it out in front of you, even as painful as that might be. Look at it and say, oh my God, look what happened. And try to realize when you see those or hear those triggers, it's not happening again. It's a trigger that's an emulation, if you will. It's a representation of what happened. It's not happening again. So that's the, that is the challenge, to distinguish between what was happening then and what happens now. Between the sound or whatever it was causing it to happen, making it happen, to the sound of what you think is it, but is not really it. Once you sort that out, you'll be able to be calmer even during those situations. It's not easy. It's going to be something that's going to happen to many of us, and we're going to have to deal with it as it comes. Do the best you can, and this is one of those things, once again, where you can only go one step at a time. You can't do much in advance of this. You have to kind of wait and see what happens and handle it as it does happen, because every circumstance is going to need a different response. So look, this is a good thing. Because it puts us in a perspective where we realize what's happening. And the more we realize what's happening, the better able we're going to be to help ourselves. We've talked about it many times. Knowing you're sick, knowing there's a problem, is half of the solution. Denying it's there, avoiding it's there, is really a problem. So this is The Real Senior Stoner with our Puffco Peak Dab of the Day, hoping that we all get a handle on the things that drive us. Cheers. You all have a great day. And remember, face your demons. This is The Real Senior Stoner. Cheers.